Hey guys, it is Carl Brown with Guitar Lessons 365.com. Gonna do another redo today, but we're gonna do a complete redo today. So before I taught this Top Gun anthem by, written by Walt, Harold Faltermeyer, thank you Wikipedia once again, uh, and played by the incredible Steve Stevens, and he really added a lot of, you know, an amazing solo to it. Um, but that solo, I didn't actually take a look at last time. We just did the main theme. This was years ago, and um, now that the new movie's out, you guys have asked for the full track. So we're going to do all the themes, all the little fills he throws in there, and, of course, the main solo that he does in the middle of the song. It's very, very awesome. It's got some killer stuff in it. So we're going to go through the whole thing, note for note, not skipping anything this time. Uh, before I get into it, though, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Ring that notification bell so you know it's a new video. Uh, so you can like and comment the videos. It really helps uh, with the YouTube um, Guitar Lesson Wars. Uh, and uh, if you really want to support what I do here on YouTube, I'd say the best way to do it is just to click the link in the description. That's a link to My Guitar Academy. My Guitar Academy is kind of my online guitar school. Um, contains all my courses from complete beginner courses to more advanced courses in technique, improvisation, ear training, theory, um, you name it. Uh, I go live every Saturday with Academy members and you get personalized support from me too. Uh, so please, I know I say it all the time, but the way to really kind of support these lessons is to join my Academy. So please, please check it out. All right. So let's jump into this. I'm in standard tuning here, and we, we have kind of the same theme done in C and then also done in F sharp, and it kind of, that's, they kind of rotate back and forth, and it gives it this really cool, uh, you know, amazing, um, it's just an epic melody. Uh, so we start here, and he just kind of plays it without any kind of fill. <laughs> sharp. So we're going to start here at the 10th uh, fret there on the D string. You can play that with your index finger, but I'm kind of using my ring thing on my middle finger part. So the 10th fret on the D, over 12th fret there on the G. And then that's just 10, 9 uh, done twice on the G string. And then back over here to the D here on the uh, the 12th fret of the D string. Now, you can, you, you might see people play like that. What I did is I kind of referenced a kind of a more recent video I've done in the past few years of Steve Stevens playing this lives. And he he does have sections where he'll, he'll kind of play the melody uh, down the G string. But for the most part, when he's playing this main theme, So I'm gonna kind of stick with uh, how I saw him play. So we're gonna after this over the 12 a couple times on the D string. Then we have this, which is just 10, 12 on the D over to nine on the G, and then back to the 12 on the D. We're gonna keep climbing up. The 12 on the D to the 9, 10 on the G string. So, so far. And then what you're going to do is play 9th fret there on the G over to 10 on the D. And then slide back into the 9th fret on the times when he's leaving the, the phrase, we do a little bar dive and then kind of bring the bar back up going, starting the phrase over. And then this 
last, the second time through, instead of going, and it does this. Just jumps up to the 12th fret there on the G. So right after that D on the, um, that 10th fret there on the D, jump up here and put the, the 12th fret there on the G. And then that takes us into, uh, you know, we just kind of modulate into a different key, same melody. So that's going to be the 11th fret, 9th bishop. He sometimes he'll do a little bar dip and stuff I can't really you know, mention, but he, he's adding those little inflections on there on the melody. So we have 11 on the G, up to 14 there on the B string a couple times, then 12, 11 a couple times. Over to 13 there on the G. That a couple times, and then you're gonna play 11, 13, slide to 15. I'm oh, sorry, I'm oh, sorry, you don't do that. You go 11, 13 on the G over 11 with B, and then go 13 on the G, 11, 12 on the B. Switch. And then you're gonna roll from the 11th fret on the B to the 11th fret on the G. And now we do that slide, slide 13 to 15 on the G, and then back down to 13. So we had this so far. Then you start repeating that. Instead of doing that ending, we go, just go up here and grab that 14th fret there on the B. And then we're back to the same theme, back into C major. All right, so that's kind of the same that we did before. Start the melody again, but now we're going to have a different ending. A little bit of a dive there. So it's just kind of the same thing. We climb up. And then right here, let's go nine to seven, then seven to five. And there's kind of a little bit of a bar dive. There's a pause here, um, kind of the little synth patches going on. And then we come back in with the theme in C major again. Uh, but before you do that, there's a little pre-dive on the A string. So you hit the, kind of dip the bar a little bit. And then hit the open A string. And then as you raise that up, you start the melody again. And now the, this one's going to be a little bit different. At the, the melody will be very, uh, just slightly different at the end of the F sharp section. Um, <clears throat> and then he goes back into playing it in C and he adds um, a couple fills to it there as well. So let me play through this whole section right here uh, where we're basically coming back into the main theme again with this uh, pre dive. <laughs>
so a little bit more activity at the at the very end. He's kind of building this up slowly. He's kind of prepping for this bridge slash solo section. Um, so we start with the melody, just that little pre-dive, and then the same melody. Just like the first time we played the, through it in the song. section. Same thing so far. And right here, we have a little bit different ending. It does this. It's just a little bit different, kind of ramping up the phrasing a little bit. It's just, it's just a 11, 13 on the G over to 11 on the B. And then 13 on the G, 11, 12 on the B. And then play 11 on the B, roll over to 11 on the G. And then that 14 on the, the uh, B string. Kind of play it straight through. And then we start the melody back in C, and this is where he starts adding some fills. So um, we're going to start the same melody. And when he gets in there, that same ending, he's going to jump up here and grab the 20th fret, a bend of the 20th fret. And as he bends that, then he's going to pick the G string. And raise, so the G string is being bent a little bit, or quite a bit. And he catches that on the way back down. So that's that extra little noise. You would think you you can do it here, but the note on the, the string above it is a half step um, different off from the pitch. You want it to be a little half step higher in pitch, so you have to do it up here at the joint to make that work. So I think that's what he's doing in the recording. So he's just kind of bending up to the 20th fret and then catching the G string and just then release it. All right, now coming out of this bend, we go back and you start the melody again, but he plays a little bit different. He's gonna, the first note's gonna be in the same spot, but then the, a lot of the melody now is gonna be on the G string with a little bit of whammy bar added. So he's kind of just it kind of added that. So we just. So just kind of, you're taking the melody down to seven and then five seven so you're doing it instead of doing it up here and while he's doing it, he's adding a little bit of whammy bar to it. and then we end it with it so that's uh five three two on the d string and then play three two again Again there, and now there's a, another pause, kind of a kind of a synth patch going on that leads us into, I guess, the bridge where you really call it the solo section. So I'm going to play through this whole rhythm that starts it, and then the the actual solo itself, and then we'll take a look at it note for note. So here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, so that one has got some amazing guitar licks in it and it's just really a lot of fun to play. So let's start here. This, there's a lot of overdubs initially, right here where you're gonna, there's a lot of kind of other things going on, rhythm guitar parts too. So I think there's actually two or three guitars that are adding some rhythm guitar stuff or a little fills going on. So this is kind of what he does live here at that section uh, when these chords kick in. So that's it's really kind of the main part, basically. So we have this uh, C power chord here at the fifth fret. Uh, I'm sorry, the, that's not the fifth fret. It is the third fret of the A string. So you hit it a couple times, and then again. And then you're gonna hit the third fret there on the low E string real quick, and then jump down to the B flat. So the same chord here at the um, first fret. It's kind of the same one there. And then we have this little, so kind of, so that's zero, a one zero on the A string, and then three one on the low E. And you want to kind of grab, you can just do it like that if you want. You want what you want to do is after you get that note ringing, you can grab the first fret on the B and the high E together. So, you can go like that as well. And then, into a quick little D major chord till we start the actual solo. Now when I see him play this live, this first note here, just C here at the eighth fret of the E string, he plays it there. You can also just kind of keep it down here where the, to where the, the rest of the, the beginning of the solo is. So you can do it there as well, but he does play it here. So just for completeness sake, I'm going to show, show you where he played it live, which is the eighth fret of the, a, um, the um, low E string. And then we come down here. So or you can play the third fret of the A, whatever you want. But after that note, yeah, you come to the fifth fret there on the G string. play the third fret there with the pitch harmonic and then dive down on that one. And then back with the fifth fret again. And then play three, pull off the two. And then over to three on the D. Hit a couple times. Pull off the two. Back to the three. And then bend it up a whole step and then quickly jump up and grab that um, harmonic at the fifth fret of the D string. So it is. So. Yeah, some weather bark to that as well. And then we have this kind of uh, death-defying lick. It looks like this. All right, so that is not easy. So what we're gonna do here is you're gonna, you're gonna slide into this uh, eighth fret there on the low E string. And then I'll play the third fret, I'm sorry, not, not into it today. Uh, so the seventh fret on the A string, and then the 10th fret there on the A string twice. Like that. And then we're gonna play the ninth fret there on the G, 10th on the D, and then 12 on the G twice. So wait a second. So you're gonna look at it as like two four note patterns. And then uh, the end of that ascending kind of C major thing. It's gonna be the 13th fret there on the B, and then a little chromatic lick from 12, 13, 14, 15 on the high E string. Well, you can tell those notes are palm muted, it's how you kind of want to make a pop out. From there, 
comes down to the 11th fret and it slides up to 12 on the high E. So, when you get there, now you're gonna do a kind of a little, little sweep across uh, a C major arpeggio. And you're gonna, from this high E string, the 12th fret, to 13 on the B, 12 on the G, and 14 on the uh, D string. So, and then you're gonna come up, kind of sweep across a B flat major arpeggio. And you can just do that with your bar, your index finger from 15 on the B to 15 on the G, and then, uh, 15 on the D, so you have to roll that. That's going to end it with that little lick, which is going to be 18-17 um, on the B string, over to 17 on the G, back to 15 on the B, and then quickly jump over here back to the 15th fret on the G, and bend up a whole set. So we have this. It's probably the hardest part of the, of the solo. And then we have this next phrase. So that is going to be uh, at the, a bend at the 17th fret. A lot of pinch harmonics here at the 7th fret on the G string. kind of bending it up and then releasing it and pulling up the five and then going back and doing it again. So there's so much pitch harmonic stuff going on. Then you'll resolve it to that to seventh fret there without the bend on the G string and then start this little descending muted run. And that is gonna be kind of heavily palm muted, five seven on the G. And then eight on the D, back to um, <coughs> the fifth fret there on the G. And then play seven, eight on the D string, and five, seven on the D. And then over to eight on the A, back to the fifth fret there on the D, and then back to the eight on the A. A lot of vibrato and a pinch on one. All right, and then we get this kind of repeated section of phrase that goes through a couple different octaves. Looks like this. All right, so what's going on there? We we're gonna start with this. Which is going to be a little four note lick. We're going to play six, seven on the A string. It's heavily palm muted, by the way. And then eight, six on the low E. So that's the four note pattern. And then the last one, he add, uh, adds a couple, an extra hit in there on the, the six right there on the A. So he doubles that note. The very last one. Okay. So I think he gets that double by skipping that. So the second time through the lick, I'm sorry, the third time through the lick, don't hit that last note. Just go up and double that first note to start over again. So that's how it kind of stays in the time. It's really cool, he kind of shifts it back over, so. And then he starts taking the same thing an octave higher. But he first starts out by just doing it once. So that's eight, nine on the G, and then 10, eight on the uh, D string. So after he does it just one time, then he starts kind of doing a variation. Like four times. Like four times. So he's just basically doing a quick 
half stat bend on the G and then kill on it and then play it. Um, 10 8 on the, the uh, D string. And then he goes back to the full leg. So that same thing we did here. And then it's going to end it with it. So that's just bending the 10th fret and then playing 10 8. A lot of pinch harmonics. So that section. All right, and then up here we go up to some arpeggios. So that's going to be up here at the. Uh, the um, 17th fret there on the B, over to 17 on the G, and then... So he's picking from the 17 on the B to the 17 on the G, and then 15 on the B, 15 on the G, to 17 there on the D. So it's kind of that little pattern. So we have this. And then he does a quick, quick little pause and then repeats it. So we have this. And then at the very end of the second time through, he cuts it off a little bit short and jumps into this. So one, one more time. So that little lick there, half stat bend and release at the 17th right there on the B, and then play 15, 17 on the B, then 17 on the G, back to 15 on the B, and then play 15, 17 on the G, back to that 15. And then over to the 15 on the uh, D string with a little pinch harmonic. And then we get to the tapping section. So the tapping section, he has this main pattern that he does, but he doesn't start by playing that. Yeah, so this is all going to be happening around the G string. So you're going to start with just kind of this one where you kind of start. Which is the pattern, kind of you start with an open G, hammer 4, hammer 7. And then tap 12, and then pull back off to 7, and pull back off to 4, pull back off to 8, and kind of start the whole thing over again. So so he does it like four times. So that's the pattern that starts it, just when he's doing this. When he first starts tapping. And then what he does, after you do that four times, we get to this. So then he starts doing a more deliberate kind of a three note tapping pattern. Um, I'm sorry, four note tapping pattern, right? Yeah, four note tapping pattern. So after he does this four times, so it's kind of going all the way up and then it's going all back down. He jumps down here and starts tapping at the 10th fret. And when you get to the 10th fret, this is when you start the new pattern. So you tap the 10th fret, pull off to the open G, and then hammer on two. going to do is keep that exact same pattern now, move it back to where we just were. So back up to the 12th fret tap, and then the notes in the fret hand are going to be at 4 and 7. Still in the G. Same pattern. And then he just starts moving the, the tap note, and that's it. This, this stays the same. He moves the tap note up to the 14th fret. And then the 16th fret. 
and that's the end of the solo. It goes back into the main melody. So the whole tapping section. So then when we get to back to this time, turn the delay back on uh, the theme. You got to play this theme with the delay. No, you just got to. Anyway, so um, we have uh, the theme back in C. It's a little bit of a, a couple fills in there um, I'll talk about, and then we're done with the, the track. So we look like this. <laughs> So the same melody for the most part, let's get that same little ending that we did. Oh, you start. So just like before. But when you get here now, there's a little, little bar dive. And that's the harmonic at the fifth fret there on the G string. And just do a little dive on it, and then go back into the melody again. And that same ending that we did earlier. Start the melody again, and there's just a quick little fill here. So you play it the same way. Now, when you get here, instead of doing that harmonic, we do a little pre dive on the open D string and then bring it back up. And then start the same ending that we just did. Kind of continues with the melody. There's some kind of overdubs that fades out really, really quick after that little part right there. So um, there's nothing really kind of worth covering. But it is an awesome track. It is so fun to play. The melodies are just absolutely epic. Steve Stevens solo is a beast and just a lot of fun to play. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.